Welcome back to the channel, guys. Have you ever wondered how to make the background of your webcam disappear? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways you can accomplish that using free software. So stick around. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is the built-in plugin for OBS. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download that um, in the OBS uh, website. They do have a resources um, tab where they have a bunch of the, their plugins. Uh, I'll have all these linked in the description. But essentially, they have a GitHub page where they keep all the uh, download files. So you click on that and then down here under download. You're going to click on check out the latest releases that'll open up this page here uh, as of this video version 0.4.0 0 .0, uh, is the latest that they have uh, it looks like it got updated november 3rd 2021 uh, so you'll scroll down under the assets uh, section and you're going to have two downloads one of them is for windows and the other one's for for Mac if you're using a Mac. So for us, we're on a PC, so we're gonna click on this Windows 64-bit version and it'll download a zip folder. And per the instructions, it tells you where to put the files. So for most people, it's gonna be under the C directory, program files, OBS studio. So once you unzip those files, you'll have two, you'll have two uh, folders in there. You want to copy and paste these in this directory here. C program files, OBS studio. So I've already done that. So let's go over to OBS and I'll show you how to set it up. Okay. So we're in OBS now. All we have is our camera set up. What you want to do is you want to go under filters and then up here where it says audio video filters, you want to click on the plus sign. And if you install those two folders in the correct directory, you should have a background removal option here. Uh, you can name it whatever you'd like. Just press OK. And I'm going to move this window over to the side so you guys can see. So you can kind of see that already it has removed the background. So the background now is, is completely black. Um, and you have a couple of sliders here. First one is the threshold. And you'll notice that these are all at the default settings. So you can increase or decrease the threshold and basically what what the threshold is doing is how close is it getting to your body you can move this down quite a bit but you'll notice that it's actually uh right here it's it's cutting into my face a little bit so these are all things that you want to try and and play with to get the best uh you know background removal possible giving your setup right it's, it's going to be very dependent on your camera on the lighting that's in the room that you're in and, and things like that so play around with these settings here uh how smooth you want the silhouette you can you know you can see that the the outline is now very blocky or you can increase it and it'll smooth things out and then uh, down here under segmentation model, if you're not very happy with the results that you're getting, you can actually change the segmentation model. You can try all these different ones and you'll notice that some of these will give you different effects. So this one is actually picking up uh, my chair in the background, the SI net. So you can play around with these. Same thing with ModNet. Media Pipe seems to be, at least from my testing, to be the best one that I found. But play around with these. See what looks best 
giving your setup and uh and uh hopefully you have something that works you can also uh add a green screen effect background if you if you want uh you can do that here by selecting color and then just you know try and, and get something that's pretty uh pretty neon green there and then you'll have a green screen and you can then put a picture if you want you know to, to, to have it like an artificial background say you want to put like a like a beach setting or whatever the case might be you have that uh, option available so this is the uh, option number one this is using just a, a built-in OBS plugin and uh and it's it's pretty easy uh, like I said you just got to play around with the with the sliders here the different settings and hopefully you get something that you like now let's check out the second way that you can do this uh but this is hardware dependent so uh if you don't have the right type of hardware you won't be able to use method number two. So let's get into that one. All right, so the second way you can do this is using what's called NVIDIA Broadcast. Now this is uh, NVIDIA's streaming software. Um, however, like I mentioned previously, you do have to have, uh, there's some requirements as far as your hardware goes. Obviously, this is NVIDIA software. You're going to need an NVIDIA graphics card. So these are the graphics cards uh, that they support. Uh, looks like you need about eight gigs of RAM or more. And they recommend these CPUs or higher. So if you have these uh, minimum system requirements, you can use NVIDIA Broadcast. So I'll have this linked down in the description. Essentially, it's the same thing. You click on the download now, it's gonna download an executable file. Once that's done downloading, you're just gonna want to go through the installation process. And once it's done, I'll show you how to open that software and then how to get that video into OBS. Okay, so here we go. We've got the NVIDIA Broadcast software open now. And you'll notice that there's three tabs. And what you wanna do is you wanna go over to the camera tab. And you're gonna wanna select under camera source, you're gonna wanna select your camera and then uh, specify the output resolution. And if there's uh, different uh, frames that you can get from your camera obviously specify what you'd like so I've got mine set to 1920 by 1080 p at 59 frames per second and right here under effects is where you can select different uh, background effects they have a background blur so, you know, if you've got stuff in your background and maybe you want to blur it out, you've got a slider bar here that will adjust the blurring effects. It's kind of hard to see because I have just a, a plain white background, but it works really well. Uh, you can specify, you know, if, like I said, uh, using OBS, you can put like a picture behind you. You can do that as well. But if you just want to remove your background, to make things clean say you're streaming you just want to have the silhouette of yourself in you know showing the the, the game in the background then uh, background removal is what you want and it'll remove the background so now that we've got the settings in here in the nvidia broadcast let's get back into obs and i'll show you how to add this feed into your uh, into your streaming. Okay, so here we are back in OBS. And what you want to do is you want to go down here under your sources, click on the plus sign, and then you're going to add a video capture device. 
you can name it whatever you'd like. Press OK. And then under here, you're going to select camera NVIDIA broadcast. And then you can hit OK. And you'll notice the background has now been removed. So if you had something showing up, you know, if you had your display capture, for example, then you, you would only see the silhouette uh, of my body and including the, my chair behind me and then everything else you wouldn't you know would be whatever you're showing in the background and personally i think this looks uh the best compared to the obs plugin so let's talk about the the pros and the cons of uh of the two options that i've showed today uh for the first one using the OBS plugin, the pro is that you don't need any specific hardware. Anybody can go and, and download it. If you're using OBS Studio, it's it's free software. You can just go get the plugin, install it, you know, save it on your computer, and then within minutes, uh, you'll be up and running. Uh, and you know, like, like I said, you can do the same thing you can with the NVIDIA software. You can change the background. You can have it show, you know, picture or whatever you want behind you. You can even use, uh, a video if you want. That's, that's looping in the background. You can do all those, all those things with the OBS plugin. Now it, with my, in, in my experience, the only drawback that I that I found was with my older computer when I when I was using that to stream, I did notice that it was very CPU intensive. So you just have to keep keep an eye to see if you're if you're maxing out your CPU because it does use your CPU to essentially remove the background. So that's the only real drawback um, that I found. And when you compare it to the NVIDIA version, I think the NVIDIA version looks a lot better. Whatever AI they're using to determine, you know, what is considered the background, uh, I think the NVIDIA works way better. So the cons, for the nvidia is that you have to have you know th there's there's specific hardware requirements that you need to have for it to work if you don't have an nvidia graphics card if you don't have at least eight gigs of ram you can't use it so that's the only real con with using the nvidia broadcast software obviously the pros i think it looks great uh i personally use it whenever i stream uh it's free so those are the two ways i hope that you guys uh like the the video if you do please give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching